Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiara, also known as Reminisce Naturals. And in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the TGIN brand. Thank God I'm natural, I believe. I believe. But anyway, I'm going to be featuring this as the third video in the Black History Hair Care Product Month. You guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're into natural hair content. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so for the shampoo, this is a bomb shampoo. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. This, this is nice shampoo. Y'all know I don't care for shampoos, but to actually experience one that's moisturizing and where you're able to slide your fingers through and possibly finger detangle which i will never do with a shampoo once again yeah this is this is a nice shampoo For the conditioner, the conditioner, when I first applied it to my hair, I was like, eh, like as you can see in the video, my hair looks kind of bland. Like, it looked like no product was getting on my hair at all. So I was like, uh, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? <laughs> That's exactly how I was feeling. Like, um, yeah, I didn't know, I didn't really care for the conditioner that much. Even as I was like, I let it sit throughout the whole time I was in the shower also to see if it, uh, to give it time to soak into the strands. Cause with most conditioners that don't give you instant slip, they usually have to soak it to your hair strands and then like you'll feel the moisture as, but I didn't really get that with this conditioner. So I don't know. I don't really, I don't really care for it. But anyway, moving on. To clarify what I was trying to say previously, but as I, no matter how much product I was applying to my hair, it would not show up on my hair looking back at the video now. And yeah, I just didn't really understand this conditioner. That's how much shed of hair I picked up from finger detangling with the conditioner in my head. And I'm just going to twist my head to the scalp back and let this conditioner marinate in my hair to, to see if I could get better results. We're gonna call this my leave-in conditioner. I use the Sweet Honey Hair Milk for my leave-in conditioner. With this leave-in, I did like it. It, get, it did give my hair some moisture and a little bit of slip. And it's pretty nice. It has the consistency somewhat of condensed milk. If y'all know what sweet condensed milk is and y'all use that to make y'all cheesecake or something, whatever y'all make with it, that's the exact consistency and it feels so good in your hand and your hair.
Yeah, I already know I'm going to take my hair down, let it air dry partially, and then I'm going to go back and style my hair. I accidentally fell asleep on my hair, so it looked a hot mess. I did not mean to. Now, for the, I've been trying to use this product for the longest. I got it a while ago, but then I had the idea to do this video, so I couldn't use it because I knew I wanted to try this brand with it. So, this is the Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. Now, when I first got this, I was like, oh crap, I should have got like a twisted cream or something. But I read the direction and said it could be used for a setting cream to create soft, smooth, and shiny two-strand twists and twist-outs. Now, this thing is a word, is a man of his word. Because as you can see in the video, my hair was so shiny. The twists were so shiny and moisturizing. Oh my gosh. And when I went to take my hair down, it was... Oh my gosh, it felt so freaking good. But the only con is that either this or the sweet honey milk, they leave a little bit of flake in my hair. Not as much as the Mia Organics, but oh crap. Y'all ain't tell me I had some Dazone sauce on my face. Between the line of those two products, one of them left my hair flaking. I don't know what's with my hair flaking. Like this is the third time my hair flaked up with any product and it's starting like i'm starting to think is in my hair like why, why did my hair change all of a sudden out of nowhere it's like kind of getting on my nerves so i don't know if i'm using too much products for my hair like it wasn't doing that before so i may eliminate either i don't know that's a hard choice eliminating a leave-in or a twisted butter that's an impossible decision to make like you need both of them anyway I don't know, it may be because I'm waiting for my hair to dry down and then I decide to go in with the twisted cream. I don't know, I play. I keep playing with my hair to find out. For this twist out, I did want to achieve more definition, so I went with smaller twists.
Ooh, my edges die. Boy, nothing don't last on my edges. <laughs> anyway, um, that's it for today's video, you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and a uh, link in the description and in the cards above the first two videos. Um, go ahead and watch those if you didn't and comment down below what's your favorite product from TGIM. Alrighty, you guys. See y'all in the next one.